Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Planet Zoo Mod Showcase. My name is Leaf and it's so great that you guys are able to join me today. Now, just a very quick showcase this time around. We only have three new animal mods. There's another mod, but we'll touch on that in like another video or something. It's just a terrain remaster or recolor. It's nothing too crazy. Of course, before we do get started, modding is not officially endorsed by Frontier. When you do mod, you kind of do mod at the risk of like, you know, you might not be able to log into your game. Uh, you might not be able to log into your map. But if you join the modding server, the link is down in the description below. Someone will always be able to help you out no matter what issue you're having. We probably know them all by this point. But without further ado, let's stop stalling and get into the mods this week, starting with the Jackalope. Now this is probably one of my favorite mods I've ever made. It's just a very simple silly mod. So it is based off of the Quokka. It is based off of like Narwhaler's uh, Euro European bunny. It's just a really silly mod I wanted to do. Jen had one a very long time ago. And this still does pay homage to Jen because it does use the white tail deer antlers and it uses Narwhaler's bunny as a base. I kind of just gave it a little bit of a color morph uh, that kind of looks like a black tail jackrabbit. I've been playing too much Red Dead Redemption, so that guy is probably always in my dreams whenever I sleep. But I thought it was a really adorable thing to do. You could see him nomming on his little leaf right there. And yeah, it's just always super fun to get like, I don't know, your mythical or kind of like cryptid animals in here. Still got to figure out what the issue is with that map right there, but I'll get that figured out relatively soon. Um, but yeah, they have interspecies enrichment so they could chill out with all the North American animals like moose, prairie dogs, bison. I got to add pronghorn in here once I update everything. But yeah, they're just a really super adorable animal. They have like all this information. Uh, really very adorable animal right there. Uh, no unique babies because it's like, it's kind of like a shitpost mod. I really didn't want to put in oodles of work into it, but I thought it'd be a really fun mod for you guys to check out just because I think we need a lot more silly mods out there. So who knows what else we'll get. But if you guys want some more realistic mods, we could check out the Cafu Lekwe or Lechwe, however you guys pronounce it at home. But uh, yeah, these guys are super awesome. So Gaboy actually remade this on the actual Lechwe Lechwe, Lechwe rig. Uh, so now it has like that Nile Lechwe look to it. And it's super, super beautiful. Look at these guys. But yeah, these guys are found pretty much in like a small pocket of Africa right over there. Uh, the Kafu Flats in Zambia. Really cool species right there. And they don't have any interspecies enrichment. Come on, good boy. Come on. We got to add some interspecies enrichment in there for these guys. But they're a really, really beautiful animal. Check out the red on this individual right here. It's just super, super beautiful. Look at that. Just a really cool animal. I think Lekways are some of like the coolest ones out there because of their really, really awesome horn shapes right there. Really, really cool stuff. It really helps me appreciate these really awesome hoof stock a lot more. I don't know. It's so cool. Besides that, Gaboy also graced us with the Humo, uh, or otherwise known as South Andean Deer, I think. Yep, South Andean Deer. These guys are super cool. They're found in Chile and Argentina. Uh, do they have interspecies enrichment? I think that's just from the Capybara Everyone Friend mod. Uh, but they're really, really beautiful deer species. South American deer are some of the funkiest little dudes out there. And because of that, it's always such a treat whenever we get them in game. I don't know. They're just super, super beautiful. We can see the females right here. But what I always love about deer are the males because their antlers are so cool. These guys have like such a unique antler shape right here where it's literally just a V or a U or whatever letter that is in your native tongue but they're just a really really cool species i really love the really subtle shading on their face it really is super super beautiful just a lot of really awesome line work from gaboy on here really beautiful animal so incredible job gaboy i think we should be a about to get some animals soon. Uh, animals, I say animals. We're about to get some babies soon. So I'm just gonna speed up time a little bit. Might as well just tell you guys what else I've been doing. Uh, I've been updating slowly but surely a whole bunch of other mods. So if I pop over here to Aquatic, you guys will be able to see that I've updated pretty much every single flamingo out there. 
So now the Andean Flamingo is updated, the Chilean Flamingo is updated, all with new UI, all with new visuals. Uh, except for the Lesser Flamingo, I wasn't able to fix their wings. I did use Narwhaler's Greater Flamingo as a base right there. And now they have interspecies enrichment with each other for all the Flamingos, so it's just a really, really fun thing to have. I don't know, I just like doing that stuff. What I also did was the Rocky Mountain Elk. Uh, so if I just pop over here to, let's reset all filters, go to elk. These guys now have interspecies enrichment with a whole wide variety of different animals. And look at that beautiful UI. That's all thanks to Robustus. He did some incredible stuff right there. But yeah, I was able to fix those guys up too, so now they have that. And now we can check out the little babies. Look at the little babies. So yeah, here is the Huemul. I really hope I'm saying that right, but here's a Huemo baby, uh, really super adorable. It looks kind of like a Pudu, which I guess makes sense because the Pudu is the smallest deer species in South America and the world, to be honest. But yeah, it's just a really, really solid baby right there. I love their little mustache kind of look that they have going on right there. Really awesome stuff right there. Let's see what else we have. No unique baby for the jackalope, which is a little bit of a shame, but again, I really didn't want to put in all that effort for, you know, just a little shit post mod. But regarding the Leque, the baby is right here, and it's super adorable. Look at it. Look at its super adorable little face. Oh no, I love that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week. Be sure to check out the Nexus. I should have some new stuff coming relatively soon. I do want to update the Peccary to now use the brand new Peccary as a base. So I'll update the Chikoan to actually have Chikoan coloration. And I'll update the uh, whatever the other one is to have uh, basically maybe white lit peccary. I'm not really sure. But besides that, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next mod showcase. Enjoy these guys. Goodbye and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.